Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Just here from Porky's Corner. The biggest gob in sport. Big shout out to Spartan Demolition. I want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment and sharing the videos on your WhatsApp. Views and everything's gone through the roof this month. So a nice one. Sorry for boring you to death going on about that. I don't like to be like other channels going on about that all the time, but you know sometimes it's nice to have your ego tickled, isn't it, if people share your stuff. <laughs> right, in a week where we've had brick top crying all week <sighs> about the bar's loss. We never went around and quit, but yet they've turned it into controversy and saying they're robbed. In a week where that's gone on and where we were told the WBA heavyweight regular title is no more, which is brilliant because we only need one champion. But it seems that that belt's now vacant and uh, Jarrell Miller and Marius Vack are going to be fighting for it. Is the WBA now the worst belt out there? Well, you say the organisation is bad. You'd say WBO's a bit better, wouldn't you? But not much. WBC, God. Them three are shocking, aren't they? And IBF, for the last 39 years, have to hand their books in every 12 months to IRS and FBI. So, it's the only reason they're probably do, doing things by the book, but only because they have to do. So they're your four organisations, so are you telling me that the IBO's not squeaky clean? And that Sonny Edwards don't rate that bell? I rate the IBO. Ed Levine's bang on. If you started doing mandatories, they'd get it past as the fifth belt, wouldn't they? Do you know what I mean? Instead of just picking who you can fight with them, that's the only problem, they can slot people into the top 50 from nowhere, can't they? The IBO, which... So, technically, they're bad as each other, aren't they? So all of them are no good, so why don't we just get rid of all of them? And just go buy a ring magazine belt where there's no fees, no note. Aye. Because there's some kids who don't get to be world champions that are a lot better than some who do, and they're just British level. So I look at it, but... Jarrell Miller, what has he done to deserve to be in that fight? And whoever wins that fight is just going to be parked up as mandatory now, aren't they? For when the mandatory slot comes back around again with WBA, which could be a couple of years at this rate. So how bad is that? How bad is that? Miller, we is checkered history. Like pool players, isn't it? Just failed snooker players, aren't they? I'm critical about that because I'm a failed snooker player. It's true, isn't it? It's dog shit, isn't it? Have a look. What a dog shit. Hey! Come on! You're always sniffing other turds. Go on, scoot. He's sniffing that. Go on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Say hello. Say hello. Come on, get moving. You know what? You'd think they were walking Green Mile, wouldn't you, Rocky? Look at him there. Rocky, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're walking Green Mile, mate. Come on. Even dogs don't fancy it. I need to start calling these dogs. It's Big Freeze and the White Rhino. Because they're just not out doing the cardio's in the morning, are they? Did you see state shape they were both in? But Jamie Moore there going running about, running about, telling us white rhinos in great shape. What shape was that? A joke. That shape was a joke. Do you know what I mean? I have to start calling my dogs that. Hey? Unbelievable. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck in this month. Don't know if we'll beat 150 videos though. We'll have to see because I've got loads on, but we're going to get stuck right in. And it's all good. We'll get to uh, finish this off this morning. 
get to the factory, get my stuff and we'll get over to Julesbury. Yeah? We'll see what uh, Julian's got to say about it all. About the White Rhino. What we're going to have what now with White Rhino is Operation 257.9. Operation White Rhino. He's taking it even more serious now. It's a bit like that film, isn't it? 48 hours. Keep making sequels. Another 48 hours. Yet another 48. It's yet another White Rhino comeback, isn't it? What about Big Freeze? He's no better, is he? Two jelly babies going at it in middle of the ring. <sighs> Can you imagine? Could you imagine the greats watching that over there in America on Sky? Could you imagine the greats watching that? Imagine Lennox watching that. Riddick Bow looking at Big Freeze with that Olympic bronze. Is that medal by default? Is he the worst bronze medalist ever? Is he a worse a bronze medalist than Kevin Barry? <laughs> Aye. Is he? Is he the Kevin Barry of Olympic medals? Or did he just stay milking the honey? Milking the, the nuts and honey and berries from the EIS? With all that free travel, free car, free food, free petrol, free gratis all them years. Then just swanking into the pro game. We in Olympic bronze because he waited it out years because Joshua and Joyce had gone. Is that what it is? Is that what it's all about? Hey, is that what it's about for Big Freeze? Uh, life and death with White Rhino. Well, you couldn't call it a life and death, but having to resort to low ball, ball and punching him in nuts and referee bottling it, squeaking by. Not winning that fight through, getting it through back door, getting it through cat flap. But that's up to Big Ron. Let's see what pull Big Ron's got with board now. See if you can get that rematch on. Will he get it on? I don't think Big Fraser want to fight White Rhino again. Dave's going to push it, isn't he? Where's he got anywhere to go? He's, he's, he's going to hang on for dear life for that. Personally, he's 31. White Rhino, does you send down, look in that mirror and say, have I been training? Have you been training, White Rhino? And then ask yourself up closely after you've said, yeah, I have been training, but have you been doing it properly? No, you haven't. Because when you can't throw punches, it means you're not fit. You can't just out tough yourself and hope to, hope to take it down line, hope to get beaten to a pulp and then stop him down line or hope to keep getting beaten to a pulp and hoping he's going to keep punching you down there hey eh? to get disqualified is that where we're at now trying to get dq wins you've got to take it a bit more serious white rhino get jogging in the morning not walking jogging get jogging in the morning pop pop bang on that one i don't hear any excuses my phone shock a block this morning. What people going on about referee decisions. Referees rule the rules, that's it. You get a decision go against you, you take it on chin, don't you? Do you know what I mean? No. He's not got Eddie behind him now, has he? You know, to go into bat for him. He's got Big Ron, so let's let's see what Big Ron can do. Big Ron might be able to put lawyers on it, but is what it is. Big Ron did his job, he got White Rhino into position on Sky. Right, in a big fight that could have put him back in the mix. And that's what happened. You've just seen what happened, it was a Tony Yoker job all, all over, wasn't it? Keep ploughing forward, not throwing anything, getting bludgeoned and hoping they're going to tire. Hey, is that, is that what we want to see? Hey. Super Tommy Frank job, wasn't it? It was a cashing job. Dennis is a smart cookie, Dave Allen in, but Dave's going to try and be smart now, try and get a rematch, but he'd not got a cat in hell's chance. It stunk out the arena, it was stinky. And like I said, when you're not winning a round, how can you scream for a rematch if you never won a round? On the strength of what? Like, 
it's like uh, the bar, isn't it? On strength or what? Super Tommy Frank's not going to be screaming for a rematch, is he? Hey, saying it was stopped early. Stuff happens. Dust your sun down and you go again. That's all Rhino's got to do. Dust your sun down and go again. But like I said, it's no good if you're filling the car up. We're not enough petrol to get round, is it? That's not good. It's uh, stupidness and it's white rhino's own fault. You know what I mean? No mind all that pantomime stuff after. Like we Spencer Oliver and Gad who were out the faces, pair of them doing interviews out the faces. Did you see them gaining? Pair of them. Oh my god, what an advertisement that is. No, no, just say no, just say no. Say no to them chaps. You know the bad for you. Okay. You see the state of them. See the state of them two. Like waste men, weren't they? <laughs> like waste men. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Hey, come on, sniffer dogs. Who's sniffing my dogs? See if you can go find me something decent hid round here. <laughs> something that we can get a few quid out of. So. Okie dokie, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing, don't have nightmares, thanks for liking and subscribing, leaving a comment, sharing videos, booyaka! Porky's Corner is proud to be sponsored by Spartan Site Solutions. They are specialists in civil engineering and demolition contracts for the construction industry. Interested parties should visit their website or contact Porky's Corner for a referral at porkycorner at mail.com.